Oh, this build took forever. Welcome back to RC Trails. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be breaking down my Bronco Everglades and why it took so long. So the idea of a Bronco build came when Tamiya released her two-door Bronco. And I was thinking maybe I could turn that into a crawler. Maybe I could turn that into something decent. And eventually down the line, Proline came out with two bodies, a two-door and a four-door Bronco. And you were able to put that on an actual chassis. So I made the decision to go with the Proline body not because of its detail, but because I was able to put it on an actual chassis, which will make it a much better performer. Now, the issues I was running into with the Proline body was that there was absolutely no aftermarket support. There was no aftermarket support, even from Proline, nothing against them. So I made the decision to go on with the build and started purchasing Traxxas parts for a Proline body. Now, the task of making it fit was very extensive, but I got it done. The first wall I ran into was that the two-door Bronco body from Proline did not fit the whole chassis with the bumper I wanted. I purchased a CC hand bumper that has a space for a winch, and that winch should be under the body, not outside of the body. So I went ahead and I purchased the four-door Bronco from Proline. Once all the necessary holes were made for the headlights and taillights, it was time to move on to the paint. Now, the paint of the Bronco Everglades in real life is sort of a very light tan color. Went through Tamiya's database, did not find a PS tan, but I found a TS tan. It was called Dark Yellow TS3. Now, the issue with that is, for those that know about this, you should not paint a polycarbonate body with a TS type of paint because it will chip. Example, I tried salvaging what was left of the Proline body, but it was too much work to remove the paint and then paint it again. Through my experience, AS type paints work just fine. I painted my Buffalo with it. There's no chipping, um, no signs of chipping. So I use the same type of paint, AS, for the Bronco, and that was AS15. Now the third body that I chose for this build, that's why it took so long, was finally, you know, I said, you know what, let's just go with Traxxas. Now the reason why I didn't go with Traxxas the first time around was that the Traxxas body kind of seems exaggerated. The wheel arches are exaggerated, um, the fenders are exaggerated. To me, it doesn't look um, as scale as it should. Now enough talking, let's get down to the breakdown. I didn't mean to do it like that. The front bumper and the front lights, they are from CC Hand. Uh, the winch is from RC Four Wheel Drive. The snorkel I found on AliExpress. The roof rack, also um, CC Hand that comes with the tent on the top. The decals, I got that custom made. The rear tire rack also is from CC Hand. The light kit I got from AliExpress, I believe it was a company called Globe Mart. If you take your time on AliExpress, you can find great products for a lower price. Um, and it's the same name brand, CC Hand. These tow hooks are from Injura, Axle, Wheel Wells, or Inner Fenders. The rears, I got Traxxas Inner Fenders. And I modified the front Inner Fenders to work with the clip system that Traxxas has for their Bronco body. As you can see, I think it's still plugged in. Is it plugged in? No, it's not plugged in. These rock sliders, I got them also from AliExpress. Now let's work our way to the internals of the Bronco Everglades. The transmission comes with the Axial World Builders Kit. The motor is gonna be the FuerTech Komodo 10 2500 KV. The ESC is gonna be the Lizard 10 with the Bluetooth module that allows you to do tons of tuning that esc gets really really hot so i bought the fan for 20 bucks to help it cool down i also got the wired controller for the winch the rc four-wheel drive winch since the bronco everglades or the bronco in real life the 2021 has an ifs i was not going to continue or i was not going to build this if i wasn't able to integrate the ifs system so i went ahead and i grabbed me an element trail runner took the front end of that and put it on the bronco there are some 3d parts that you need to print you can find those on shapeways and i believe it's like ifs uh 
actual conversion. The skid plates are from Artful Dodgers. They look amazing. They also cover the arms for some added protection. For shocks, I went with G-Maid's RSD's 90 millimeter piggyback shocks. That's a long one. And you could adjust the compression rate just by turning a screw at the bottom of the reservoir. Now for the wheels, I chose Pro Build 155 B Lock wheels that allows you to change the offset if necessary. And finally, I have Goodyear Wrangler tires from RC Four Wheel Drive on these wheels. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. And while you're down there, just let me know what build took you forever. You know what else took forever? This video took forever. <laughs>